Thank you very much. Um, I, I know that you are really here to see Beethoven's Ninth, so I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. Uh, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Top, the president of the European Culture Forum, has painted a glowing picture of my achievements. And I'm afraid I'm going to be long dead before we find out if history will validate his praise. But as the first winner of the European Cultural Achievement Award to come from a place once quaintly known as the Far East, I feel that the award is less about what I have done, but about how far we have come as a nation, as a region, in taking our rightful seat at the table of the world's culture. When I was a child, growing up in many European countries, I would sometimes see performances from Thai or other Asian artists. I could sense that though these performances were greeted with respect and interest, there was always a sense that what we did was something other, something outside the mainstream. How charming! These clever little natives are playing our music, they would say. But in the last few years, there has been an absolute and permanent change in how the world views us. When this orchestra, created using a radical educational theory, became the first Thai symphony orchestra to win the first prize in any major international competition five years ago, interpreting the music of Austria to a panel consisting entirely of Austrian judges, the foreman of the jury said to me, we have heard the message from the young people of Thailand we have heard it loud and clear. Last year, when part of my Dasjati series toured in Europe, a Czech reviewer said, this was by no means an, ethnolo an ethnological curiosity, but a fully professional display of contemporary Thai culture in fusion with European traditions. So there was a time when the West saw us as unformed, as pristine vessels ready to receive Western culture uh, as a divine gift but those days are over. The West has come to understand that our relationship is no longer only about what we can learn. It is now equally about what we can teach. There are many people who have made today possible, and I would like to thank some of them who are in, in this hall today. First, I'd like to thank my family. Uh, if you could stand up, members of my family. I would like to thank them very much. My family. My parents, my sister. I want, to, I want to thank them because they defied the conventions of society by allowing me the freedom to follow a different road illumined by a different light. Many countries have welcomed me and, I, and let my voice be heard. Tonight in particular, I would like to thank Germany, represented this evening by Dr. Prugel, because this is the first continental European country to truly embrace my work. So I would like to thank uh, you and Germany for that. I would also like to mention the educational institutions of this country who have tolerated my out-of-the-box methods and allowed my approach to flourish. In particular, I'd like to mention Dr. Atit Urairat, who's, uh, is he here in the room? Please stand. Um, I, I would like to thank him because he has this visionary approach which conjured up a new performing arts center where once there was nothing appearing like a magical oasis in a suburban desert. So thank you so much for creating this for us. And especially, I would like to thank all my fellow artists who have been with me on this thrilling journey, which has been a, a very hard journey. But we have come to understand that we too are participants in the great drama of the world, that we too may stand on the stages of the world and show its audiences truths that would have remained unseen had we not shown them to them. Whether it is in theater, film, the visual arts, dance, or now in classical music, the artists of Thailand now dare to hold up the mirror to the world. We have inherited many great forms of expression from Western culture, among them film, television, and now opera. But these gifts are no longer shiny trinkets from another land. They are our inheritance. They belong to us, and we have new things to say. We may now dare to show the audiences of the world 
who they are, because we have finally dared to understand who we are. As to that question of who we are, I would like to draw your attention to the quintessentially most Thai thing that I know, which is not some architectural marvel or some arcane dance, but something ubiquitous and known throughout the world, the simple Thai salad, the yum. This is the most amazing invention because the great secret of yum is that every ingredient retains its original texture and its original identity. And yet, this dish has a gestalt that is amazingly Thai in every single bite. Our culture is like that salad. There's a, a nibble of India, a crunch of China, a sprinkle of Hollywood, and you can see every piece, each disparate, each unique. But the whole thing could never be anything other than Thai. This is the culture that transformed a pile of broken pottery into the Temple of Dawn. In this regard, I'm so happy that the cultural world is beginning to notice what I'm trying to do in creating the Das Jati series. Of course, a lot of people are hung up on its giganticism, you see. A lot of, see, a lot of commentators mention that it's the biggest integrated work of classical music in history and that sort of thing. But the canvas really needs to be big because the strands being woven together are so multitudinous and so diverse. Buddhism as music drama, told in a language drawn as much from film as from theater, and in an idiom that bridges Europe and Asia. It's not just the story of a religion, but a story about all of us, the people in today's world. It's a project that I hope will bring together creative individuals from many fields, and which I hope can be interpreted and reinterpreted by the ever-widening viewpoints of future artists. Since returning to Thailand almost two decades ago, after several decades of searching for identity and meaning, I've learned a simple truth that is actually quite difficult to learn, that home is not a place, but a feeling, that to know the world, you must first dare, dare to know yourself. It is therefore, as a Thai artist, and in the name of Thailand's many great artists, on whose shoulders I stand, and on behalf of this great country that has brought me to this moment, that I accept with great humility the 2017 Award for European Cultural Achievement. Thank you so much.